What is going on, guys? My name is Ron Beck, and from Ron Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Bartender Glass of God. I do apologize for being a little bit late. I just been doing a bunch of stuff, doing some adulting and all that stuff. Good news! I am basically nearly completely recovered. I still have some issues. Um, I still have some numbness going in my leg if I walk around for too long. But I, I was able to go on the treadmill for about 20 minutes before it started to hurt. Much big difference considering about a week ago I could only go on for three minutes. So slight difference right there. Um, I'm going to go see if I can go again um, after I uh, do this recording, do a quick massage uh, session on it, and then probably ice it real quick. I should probably be good to go for another 20 more minutes, but I do miss being able to really just sit, sit and work out and exercise like normally. Sure, I can lift weights and all that stuff, but then that's great. But I can't do squats or I couldn't do squats. I couldn't go on the treadmill. I couldn't do my kettlebell swings, just stuff like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that I'm finally getting uh, up to there. I have been pretty tired. I have been drinking some coffee to get some energy in me, uh, but I have been pretty damn tired uh, lately. So I hope... I can get some energy in for you guys. I do apologize. I probably even look a little bit tired. My eyes um, didn't sleep well last night. Don't know why, uh, but I think I just had some weird nightmares. But yeah, anyways, I'm ready to jump into this episode. Episode 10, A Thorn in the Heart. I don't know what we're going to get. I honestly have no idea. Um, we got to see the last, uh, the previous bartenders, um, our main characters, uh, Buddy, Bar Buddy. Uh, bar Buddy in quotations. Uh, he just knew him. Um used to work with them so i'm curious to see if we're get, I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna get more of it but yeah without further ado let's jump in to episode 10 of bartender class of gods are in three two one let's jam that's right okay that's right i'm assuming it's like he gave someone alcohol and it caused him to go into, get into an accident Ah, uh, loved. Uh. Hmm. Except one guy was actually one to go through with it. I could see where you get that kind of guilt. You'll, you're you're going to throw a sensible. That would be rough on anyone. Oh. Wait. Oh, that's messed up. You can't. That's you can't do that. You can't do that. Coercion, forcing, that's forcing someone in there and then you, yeah. So it's the owner of the bar. Ambition. I heard, I don't know if this is true, but the reason why you'll constantly see the stereotype of bartenders 
cleaning and polishing glasses the entire time. Just to have him go on? I hope not. But they do that so there's something that they're doing. So they're not just standing there. I wouldn't want to remember that. I want to see this bar, though. A1? Like the steak sauce? Probably wouldn't taste... It's probably tastes much better than they wouldn't so steak sauce. Oh. What's in it? Branch manager. Is it going to be like basically the same conversation? Hmm. Two more? Is he going to give one to him? Mm. Oh, late wife. What are you drinking? Uh. Because mm. did he surpass them? Because he sacrificed? Hmm. Hmm. When I was with my ex, she did something similar well, for a friend that who had uh, passed away. I thought it was the same person. I didn't want to make, I didn't want to assume. Oh. It's okay. I had a feeling it was the same guy, but I was like, because I remember him saying he was about to move up. I totally, I just couldn't pick. I'm tired, guys. I apologize. I should not go in.
Now, what are you going to do, though? Oh. It's a good point. No. Uh, I mean, to be fair, Bartos are kind of like they can be like a a form of a confidant for the person, but um, not on the other side of the counter. If you know what I mean. Was he waiting? Is it going to ask for advice? Oh. It's a, it's a regular bar. It's not the... Someone's bothering you in the back of your head? Ah, uh, so when he was asking for women trouble, he he knew exactly who to take him to. Well, after he, you know, invited him out. Hmm. I know how to do that. And they'll all line up. The trick is getting it all, um... Yeah, I know. I, even I know how to do that, but it's, it's getting the, um, dice all to line up at the same exact way. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. One in five is easy, actually. At least when I was practicing, I, and I practiced because I was bored. I saw someone do it, I was like, I want to learn how to do this, so I just learned how to do it. It was a, I got it, I got it down a lot faster. I was never able to like, you know, match it. Like if it was mixed dice, I wouldn't be able to ma match it. So it was one all the way up, one side all the way. So he's kind of leaving it to chance at the same time, putting his fate into someone else at the, at the end. Boiler maker. I'm glad that I'm uh, most of these aren't ones I know. Beer and bourbon. Do you drop it? I'm assuming you drop it like a like a bomb. Yep.
I did soju bombs. I mean, I understood it. Oh. Yeah, but then you get it all over your mouth. Wait a second, where did all the foam go? That'd be pretty good, though. Oh, is he not even going to see what the results were? He... He's not even... Yeah, he's just going to do it. Nice. And then they're going to show. I don't need to. Of course, all five were stacked. Ooh, like a tart, like a tartiness. That'd be super good to try. She didn't. Uh, unbecoming behavior of a bartender. I am curious, since Japan is very stingy with their copyright rules, I wonder if they had to get permission to show all that. I feel like they, they of all the countries to have to do that, it would be Japan. I don't know other copyright rules in other countries, but I know they're very stingy. Yes, but he's going to be like, how did you know? And is he? He's not even there, is he? Unless it's a different night. Oh, he's here now because it opened. I I I kind of feel like oh maybe I wonder if there's going to be something that happens between these two. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, he picked he pieced it together really fast. I'm I'm sure he would, but Ooh. That's not a whiskey sour, is it? Oh. 
Oh, I'm a Jerry. Hey. It's hot. Oh, Jerry Thomas. Ooh. I mean, I wouldn't try it right now because it's brutally hot in Vegas, but... Not a bartender. But is that actually true? Is he gonna walk in the rain? Oh. Mm -hmm. Thought so. He's crying. That was a very good episode. I know I didn't react much. Partly being tired, yes, but also partly I was just really focused. The The last part really entranced me. Um, it just... It showed a side that I never thought I would be interested in. Um, and I'm sure, sure this is more dramatized and all that stuff, but this was a very... This one hit really good. Of all the episodes right now, this one hit the most. And I like it. Um, I thought about going into detail about some stuff, but it had something to do with me and my ex. So... It's a part of my life that I'll, I'll remember, but... I don't want to keep on bringing up. Um, and because it mostly involved her, I'll, I'll leave it at that. But I do find it funny of everything that, that's going on. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys in the comment section below. As always, um, I do appreciate you guys stopping by. Hopefully in the next couple days, I'll have more energy. Um, I, want to, I really wanted to stream either tomorrow or Friday. We'll see what happens. Um, most likely tomorrow, uh, I had to do a little bit of errands, but hopefully after that I should be free. We shall see. But, uh, if not, then Saturday for sure, um, I have work, and then I'll be able to hang out with you guys, and all that fun stuff. Sorry, I was about to hang up. <laughs> Been drinking a lot of water, because it is brutally hot, and gotta get my, gotta get your water in you. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys soon, uh, hopefully either tomorrow or in the next couple days. And if not, if something happens, I'll see you guys on Saturday. And until then, thank you guys so much for watching. And I apologize for my lack of reacting on this one. But 
this one was a very good episode. I enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.